In this video, I'll be breaking down the secrets to OZ's production and what makes artists like Drake always come back to it. OZ had to bounce it. I'll be going over two of OZ's styles. The first, his typical simple hit songs like Trucy Slide or Grease, and then more of his bouncy style production like Hop Out The Van by Offset. And the first style I'll be breaking down is what we all probably know OZ for. His simple, ambient hit songs like Life Is Good or Grease. But what makes artists like Drake keep coming back to him? First, let me break down this beat I made in that style. I started off this beat with a sample from my boy Chandler Court and slowed it down to around 164. And a lot of Drake and OZ's hit songs are around 160 to 170 BPM. Then I added a basic two-step hi-hat, just like in Life is Good and Grace. Then I just added this unique rim in the typical spot, but I took out the last one just for a bit of dramatic effect. Then I just added an open hat to hit on the one. And lastly, I just added this super basic 808 pattern following the root notes. And this is just what the drums sound like together. And so now with the sample, this is what the first beat sounds like. And the thing about this style of beat that makes artists always come back to OZ is the simplicity. OZ knows how to keep it simple and leave enough room for the artist to do their thing. And another thing about OZ is that he uses unique sounds. Although the pattern might be simple and generic, he uses unique sounds to spice it up. In human psychology, people like what's familiar. If you have a simple, familiar pattern, use unique sounds. And the opposite. If you have a complex pattern, use familiar sounds. And the same goes with making beats. If you have a simple melody, you can go a bit crazy on the drums. But if you have a crazy melody, keep the drums a bit more simple. The second style I'll be breaking down is one of my favorite beats by OZ, and that's Hop Out The Van by Offset. I started off this beat with a sample from my boy Smo and Trev, and once again I slowed it down to around 126, and I pitched it up by 2 because I thought it sounded better. I started this beat off with a 2 step hi-hat with a couple of rolls and pauses, just to get a groove. Then I just added this snare that slaps. And what really adds to the bounce of the beat is this short 808 that I added. I then laid the 808 with a kick, but the kick doesn't hit on every 808 which adds a bit of bounce. Then I added an open hat which lands right after a roll which kind of like swells into it. And if you listen to Hop Out The Van there's some sort of fill so I decided to add like a little fill perk. And then for some reason I decided to add this like night vision type sound effect at the end of every four bars because it sounded cool in my opinion. And here's what all the drums sound like together. And then this is the final beat with the sample as well. So that's the secrets on Ozzy's production. And if you liked any of the drum sounds used in this video, I just released my Sonics Multi Kit which comes with over 150 unique drum sounds, 50 melody and drum midis, 25 accents, textures, phrases, 10 samples, 10 starters, 10 mixer presets for FL, and 10 drum loops, as well as my producer habit tracker and producer networking guide. All of this for only $24.95. It'll be the first link in the description, so go grab it now.